Hi friends, Starry in the garden with some more end of the season tips. At the beginning, very beginning of this video, you are going to see some really awesome garden tips that maybe where you're at right now with your garden, you can actually implement. The garden is still alive, you still have some harvesting to do, and you want to prep for the winter and into spring. Uh, now, if you see this intro, my garden has been taken over by the frost. So everything now is, oh, sadly, completely done. But at the end of this video, you will also see how I am prepping uh, the Back to Eden garden method uh, to go into the uh, winter and create nice beautiful soil by the time spring comes. So let's get working. I'll share with you my tips. And like I said, just because I am on the grid, you can't take the homesteading off-grid girl out of me. So I'm sharing today. So let's get out in the garden. Now, as you can see, my tomatoes are beginning to ripen because I cut all of them back. This used to be a jungle. Well, it's not a jungle anymore. It's looking awesome. But to get the most bang for my buck also out of my zucchini plants, which are still producing, and I do have a little bit of mold on them, but you know what? They're still producing. So now is a good time just to add a extra dose of fertilizer to whatever plants are still giving you fruit. Also, start watching for some of your, your vegetable plants to start going to seed. Because when they do, that's when you want to start seed saving. Right now, I have beautiful lettuce, which really produced a lot this year, that are going to seed. So what I'm going to do is start busting off the very ends where the flower is. And we'll show you exactly what I do with them when I get inside. Now make sure that the seeds that you are saving, again, and just make sure that all the seeds that you're saving from your vegetables are heirloom. Remember that. Hybrids aren't going to do any good for you. And look, I'm finally getting Brussels sprouts. So again, I'm going to give my Brussels sprouts a nice heavy dose of organic fertilizer because it's loving this cool weather and it's not over yet. Another thing I do, especially with the mold, and I have these beautiful yellow zucchinis, don't be shy about just getting rid of all the leaves because that is going to put all that energy into those zucchinis. Just like that. The other thing, if you have a Back to Eden garden or you are thinking about doing one for next year and you finally got your wood chips aged, now is the time to start putting on either an extra layer or your very first. And the other thing about your wood chips, if you have a Back to Eden garden during the fall, you can either put on your aged wood chips if you have a pile or if you have a brand new pile of wood chips that aren't aged, now is the time to get them on because over the winter time, they will age. So you've got two choices. Layer more on that Back to Eden garden right now or put on a very fresh layer of wood chips and allow it to age over the winter time so it'll be ready for spring. And here's another final tip about your end of season garden when it comes to putting on the wood chips. Don't tear up anything in your garden. Most people have the urge to till it under, till it under. It's very labor intense. It disrupts the soil. What this Back to Eden method does is it's already created a very synergistic environment underneath the soil. And when you start pulling up the root balls, what that does, it takes away from the aeration in the soil, the microbes in the soil, the good bacteria in the soil, the good fungus in the soil. You're ripping it all up. And the concept of tilling just doesn't make any sense when you have plants that already have a live environment, a live community already established in the soil. 
So instead of pulling all your plants up and putting them in a compost pile for the winter, all you simply do is spread on more wood chips right over your existing plants. Spring. Because over the winter time, the wood chips, the, the new layer is going to work on the soil that's already there and whatever existing root balls is in that soil and it's going to be feeding it and creating more nutrients and by the time spring comes you are going to have a very rich enriched soil to start the season off with trust me on this one don't till anything in the fall and of course the final stage in prepping your garden for next year is some type of manure hopefully organic and I have a whole <laughs> yes a whole rabbit pen full of lots of old 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 manure that has been sitting here for I don't know how long that I have privy to that is going to go right on my back to Eden garden so get shoveling And in closing, one last thing before I go, and isn't this beautiful? There is some work involved. This is probably the most labor you will have to do for a Back to Eden garden. But the beauty of all that work, the beauty of laboring, is that the fruit will be there in the time of harvest. And it's kind of like our relationship with God. 